Well, we didn't start a project, you know. Uh, what essentially happened is uh, almost about 15 years back, our company and the Suriname government signed an MOU under which, you know, we expressed our interest in investing into an integrated oil palm project in Suriname. And the government of Suriname also expressed their intent in providing us the necessary support to invest our money in Suriname. Subsequent to the signing of the MOU, uh, we made a business plan. A business plan was submitted to the government of Suriname. Uh, there was a lot of uh, question and answer which went around the business plan. Finally, the business plan was accepted by the government of Suriname. And then we signed an investment agreement with the government of Suriname. Now, as part of the investment agreement, the government of Suriname was to give us around 40,000 hectares of land suitable for an you know, oil palm, uh, uh, this entire in a project. And we would invest the required amount uh, into the project. There were many other such uh, uh, aspects which were covered in, in the investment agreement in terms of what we are going to bring on to the table apart from the investment and what the government is going to provide us. All these aspects are captured in the, in the agreement. Subsequent to this, we formed a company in Surina and uh, wanted to start our activity. So subsequent to the signing of the agreement, we started a company in Surina. And uh, what was expected from the government of Suriname is to provide us the land. The government of Suriname did provide us a particular parcel of land. And we, uh, we sent our technical team to survey the land on the suitability for this project. Uh, after the survey, we did inform the government, we gave our acceptance, yes, this land uh, is suitable. Subsequent to this, the next step was to formally give the land to us and get the agreement, uh, the entire investment agreement passed in the parliament of Suriname. Uh, very surprisingly, uh, you know, things came to a standstill thereafter and there has been no progress since then. Okay, so uh, what you are practically saying is that since 15 years ago, when the start of everything, uh, up till now there's uh, no uh, movement in the project, nothing whatsoever. What's the status of that project? Well, as I mentioned, you know, uh, we still await the land from the government of Suriname. We still, still like we, we still await the agreement to be passed in the parliament of Suriname. So only when that happens can we move forward. So, so the matter is pending with the government of Suriname. Okay, so today you had a meeting with the president and the delegation um, about uh, this project, right? Or, or uh, beginning new, new, new endeavors with uh, the Suriname government. Um, uh, can I ask you, what was uh, the, the things uh, you talked about uh, during the meeting with the president and uh, how do you uh, felt leaving that uh, meeting? So, uh, so, so to me, at the first instant, it was quite uh, 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 interesting to see an invitation from the Suriname government inviting me to come and meet the Honorable President because the Honorable President is wanting to revive this project once again. So, uh, so I, did, I did accept the invitation and I had a meeting with the Honorable President and his team of delegates this morning. Uh, the Honorable President is extremely positive. He is extremely positive. He did have uh, regrets uh, to what has happened in the past and he mentioned that this particular, he is really wanting a lot of investment to come into Suriname. He is wanting our investment in particular to come into Suriname. And the Honorable President assured, you know, that uh, it's going to be a new beginning. And, uh, you know, uh, he immediately put on his in a colleague uh, to act instantly on the project and uh, seeing seeing uh, this kind of a positive response we from our side also expressed even I expressed my uh, interest my continued interest to invest in uh, Surina and uh, uh, with as things are uh, post the discussion with the honorable president it looks quite positive and we are looking forward to more concrete steps from the government of Surina. And uh, uh, if that happens, we are more than willing to take it forward and ensure that the project reaches a logical conclusion. Okay, and uh, what has been agreed uh, at the end of this meeting? 
for uh, uh, in means of the further steps from this point on? Uh, well, what has been agreed is the Suriname government will formally uh, write to us expressing uh, their intent and their seriousness on wanting our project uh, you know, to be set up in, in Suriname. And once that communication comes, then we'll start the channel of information. There are so many things which will happen there. On. You know, before we re really reach the final stage, there's a lot of things which will happen uh, you know, there. On. So as a first step, the government is going to formally write to me. Okay, thank you. Um, uh, then uh, I want to thank you for this interview. Uh, do you have uh, anything you want to say uh, according to what happened today um, uh, with, the, with the president? Well, all I can say is that uh, Suriname has a great potential, specifically in the agriculture space, in the agriculture and the processing space. And I can very strongly and say with a good sense of authority, at least on two sectors in which we have an expertise. One is the palm, the oil palm sector, and second is the power sector, generating power from agriculture waste, more specifically from rice husk and paddy husk. So this is an area where Suriname has great potential, good business can be done and uh, with the Honourable President wanting to really want investments to come into Suriname, I feel things look good, good for both the Suriname and for the investors uh, to invest their money in Suriname. The only area which I did express to the Honourable President is to have some kind of a, a methodology, to, to have some kind of a law in place to safeguard uh, investors' investment in, into Suriname.